so we are we're, we are finishing up the first unit and all right guys let's come to 45 real quick please so we're finishing up the last unit and then we're going to go into our quiz our first assessment and then we're going to do some of the the work on our own the career clusters like identifying those uh, doing a couple of lessons with Ms. Reynolds. Uh, so just doing some things on our own and taking a break from this and then coming back to it. Uh, just want to show you guys this, just so you kind of have an idea of what to expect on the quiz. This is the quiz you're going to take this week. So I'm just going to show it to you guys so you know it looks just like the lessons that we do. So I'm going to do that one assessment. Is this one, it's only seven slides really quick and easy uh, and you'll just have to answer the questions from the unit okay it's all about the 60 career questions that we're going to finish up today and then the second part of it will be um, the vocabulary test on the vocabulary words for the unit okay so i'm going to post those two assignments right now to finish this unit up you have um, your Google Classroom you've already assigned. I promise you guys, I would let you guys do this one on your own. It's been awesome with that doing it as a class and we're gonna continue to alternate as we go through these. But this one you can do on your own. And it's part two of the career clusters. Okay? So you can work with that. And then I'm gonna add the last set of world categories up there. Okay. If you need that. Headphones for the videos, there's headphones right here. You don't want to look out your Bluetooth ones to the from this. Okay? So we're through that today and I'm gonna add the vocab words. Uh, tomorrow we'll do an assignment on the career clusters and then Wednesday will be our quiz. Any questions? No? 
Alicia Simons.
hear this guy? You hear this guy? He's in there. What football team do you go for? <laughs> <laughs> He's for the Los Angeles Edgars. Remember that belt I was going to get? I mean, I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy it this year. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So take it out. There's a Los Angeles Edgar fan in here. Let me see. I'll tell you who the Edgar fans are. Take off your hats. Take off your hoods. That's a fan. Robo. That's a fan. Robo. No. 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 Hey, I could. I didn't know you're not one. You're old school Edgar. No, no, no. There's an Edgar fan. You got four Los Angeles Edgar fans in here. No, no, Edgar's here, sir. He's an Edgar. Which one? No, I thought that could be the one. Yeah, yeah. And what's the other one? And you wouldn't stay. That's enough for a bank book, I think. So, like, no <coughs> doubt. So, I was looking at some, like, very nice Rams outfits over. I'll see y'all, dude. Why are you laughing? You know, I haven't even said anything yet. I haven't even said anything yet. I have my own. Who? The Elliot Edgars. It was a Rams 
whatever. Uh, <coughs> go, go, try out some new seat, and we know what you think. We know what you think. Cool. Ellie, Edgar, get over there. And if you really need it to, Alex, yeah. for your pastor, if you wanted to move right there to the slide board, I'm okay with it. If you want to move right there. And then just move it back and the class. You need to sit over there. Sit down, try it out, and you know what you're thinking. It's okay, you got a nice little breeze from the door. Like, what if my friends pass by and they get distracted? Huh? You want though, because your active listening is going to be engaged. Your eyes and ears are going to be right here on the board. There's no reason to be looking at the door to gaze at me. There's no reason to like look at the door and be like, oh my gosh, that's my friend. Hi, friend. <coughs> Hi, friend. Okay, I'm back to work after listening. But like, what if I just bite it and say, yo, what's up? And I'm like, yo, what's up? Then, you know what? I'm going to let you know in real life, man, there's lots of opportunities to be a Distracted in life, you're always going to have those. Whether it's a friend or a coworker or a family member, there's always opportunities to be distracted. It's your job for your future success to stay focused. So just ch accept the challenge, Alex. Own the challenge. Tell yourself you won't be distracted. Great job, buddy. Way to go. Uh, All right, so I need you guys, please. So open your textbook to page 15, and then open up Oh, okay. 
So, uh, this type of question, giving meaning to words that are unknown, is something that we see repeatedly throughout this textbook. We also see it on benchmarks, we see it on state testing. So the ability to uh, give meaning to words that are unknown. And guys, for right now, just close your phone, we're 45 degrees, please. We're gonna talk through these up here. We're gonna ask them together up here, and then I'm gonna do a check-in for understanding. So like after we do number three together, I'm gonna say, let me know how well you understand this. Like a zero, I don't understand it at all. A one, I kind of understand it. Right, three would be like, I'm understanding it, but I need another example. A four or five is like, I totally get it, can do it on my own. Okay, so we're gonna do one more together to model it, and then I'm gonna ask you to do a check-in. If there's a lot of twos and threes, we're gonna do another one together to make sure everybody understands it. If there's a lot of four and five, that means you guys are able to do it on your own, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and work on your own. Okay, so let's look through <coughs> the questions. First thing we look at is a question. It says arterial sclerosis is a medical term. Mike says the de dictionary definition of this term. What else do you learn about the meaning of the term from this paragraph? Okay, so we can identify the meaning of this term. Guys, you see these types of questions on benchmarks all the time. Who can remember seeing a question similar to this? Okay, Cam, awesome, see this. I'm glad, because you will see these a lot. So, let's look at the textbook to find the answer. So textbook for number three, it's on page 15. It's the exact same question you have written in your slides. By arterial sclerosis is the medical term. Mike says the dictionary definition of this term. What else do you learn about the meaning of the term from this paragraph? All right, so first off, number three question points to number three in the text to put us in the right uh, paragraph. And then we find the word arteriosclerosis. And now we reread this to see what it means. So it says, now she has arteriosclerosis, which the dictionary says is a chronic disease characterized by a normal thickening and hardening of the arterial wall. <coughs> which really means that she can't live at home anymore or even with us and her memory has betrayed her as well as her body. She used to wander off and sometimes didn't recognize people. That already right there gives us a whole bunch of meaning. Right, does anybody know the meaning of arterial sclerosis? No. Do the words around our ar ar arterial sclerosis give meaning to it? Yes. What words give <coughs> meaning to it? So I'm going to give you guys one minute to discuss with your elbow partner to identify what words in this part of the text help give, help give meaning to arterial sclerosis. Okay, so one minute, discuss with your partners and then just to make it fun to make sure everybody has an answer, I'm going to use class dojo to call on somebody and hear their answer. So all groups, make sure you have an answer ready to go. Evelyn, do you want to move over and work with them? Or do you want to be with your partner and discuss with you? It's totally up to you. Ember saying, please move over and work with our group. Is that what you said? Okay. Oh, no, dang. I'm just kidding. I'll work with her then. You, you three work over there and I'll work with it. Evelyn? All right, one minute. Everybody make sure you have an answer. Ready, set, go. <laughs> So what words? Uh, I think it's an abnormal thickening and hardening of the arterial walls. I think it's yeah, right there. This here. So like like the 
Yeah, I see that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So those, these work right here, they help calculate the arteriosclerosis, the that is a disease that you see, right? So another word is chronic arteriosclerosis. Right, let's explain it what the word is. I thought that was a problem. I think it's further behind the scenes. She can't live at home anymore. You know, with us, because it's so much happening at home. We're doing it more than half of the years. I'm so excited. I'm going to do that. So all those words help get me to it. Now we're going to put this in the trash can. All right, guys. So, let's hear some groups and decide what words give meaning to arterial sclerosis. instruction if you choose not to follow it right you're putting yourself in the deficit when it comes to answering like do you know the answer mm -hmm. yeah yeah you do yeah. did you check it with your group member no. no alex do you know the answer alex yeah you do know the answer uh, like with the words from the text so once again what was the instruction during that time Anybody else have an answer? Mm -hmm. Awesome, let's hear it. It's going to be random. Essential's not here. Who's the fun? Jaden, what words in the text give meaning to arterial sclerosis? Chronic disease. Great job. Chronic disease gives meaning. To arterial sclerosis. What other words help give meaning? Damon. Kidney is a finding of the awesome. An abnormal dignity and hardening of the arterial wall. What does that remind you of when you read that? <coughs> does anybody know what clogged arteries causes? Heart attack, great job. Strokes, right? Are these very serious diseases? Yes. yes. So does it help give meaning to the word arterial sclerosis? Is this a, like you're kind of sick or is this a very dangerous disease? Very dangerous. Very dangerous disease. Let's look at one more example. She can't live at home anymore, even with us. What do those words tell us about the disease? Yes, yes. we are a hospital. If you have to be in a hospital, are you pretty sick? Yes. yes, right? So, and Alex, Alex, go to the corner of 45 degrees, please. It makes it so much easier when you guys follow along to make sure you're learning how to do this correctly. Uh, so we have a lot of words around arterial <coughs> sclerosis that gives it meaning. Arterial sclerosis is a chronic disease. Arterial sclerosis is an abnormal thickening and hardening of the arterial wall, similar to like someone who's having a stroke or a heart attack. Yes, Matthew? Uh, his grandma's age is the same age as my grandma. Yeah, your same age, right? So can you yeah. relate to like some of the things? Uh, so as you, as, especially as we get older, we're more susceptible to these types of diseases, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have a lot of meaning there. Okay, now let's go back to our sentence frames and see how we use this information. Right, so we go back to our. Hey, Damon, do you water in I see you. I appreciate you doing your active listening. Huh? You're I, I see you trying. So if you need water, take a walk with me. All right, so now, now we go back to this. All right, and we say, Mike says the dictionary definition. What else do you learn about the meaning of the term from this paragraph? Guys, 
we make learn how to work smarter and okay? take words from the question. Right? I think, in my opinion, the meaning of the term is like I'm not making new words up. In order to keep it on topic, just like we did, like what's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. In order to keep it on topic, make it easy. Take words from the question, put it right back in your answer. In my opinion, the meaning of this term, or you could say the meaning of arteriosclerosis is, what do we want to give the meaning of? That it's a chronic disease. Great job. It's a chronic disease, right? We can say chronic disease, we can say very serious disease, right? But something where we give meaning to that word. I'm going to change this term. <coughs> Let me show you your participation points. Good job, man. Right, so, in my opinion, the meaning of, I'm going to change this from this term to arterial sclerosis. is a chronic disease right and then I believe this because the text says what words that we underline in the text give meaning to that you actually have to look at the text but I'm going to switch back real quick What words that we underline are the textual evidence for the meaning of this? Louise? Uh, she can't live at home anymore or even with us. Right? You could say she can't live at home anymore or even with us because that shows a chronic, a very serious chronic disease, right? So you could have those words. You could have an, an abnormal thickening and hardening of the arterial walls. Give meaning to that also. Okay, so let's put it back in our sentence tray. I'm going to do the first one if that's okay, I'm going to give you participation points too. But I believe this because the text says it is an, and then we put quotation for the textual evidence, an abnormal.
five, zero, like I don't know how to do this at all. One, I kind of know how to do it. Two, three, it's maybe I need like one more example, two more examples. Four, I get it. Five, I'm good to go. All right, so everybody want the number on their hand, please? And don't look at somebody else. Give me your number. Awesome, thank you guys. So we're gonna do one more together <coughs> to identify the three. So if everybody, good. If you're still, if you're done with number three, go on to number four, start to work through it, and then we're gonna share this out and discuss it and help to improve everybody's understanding. Is there a right or wrong answer? Hey, your plan, as long as you make a claim and then your textual evidence supports it. So, uh, if you make a claim, and I hate to use sports all the time, but it's like sports are easier for me to make an example. But if you say, like,
It's on page 16. You should be looking at page 16. Right? It says, what does Mike reveal about his feelings? What is his internal conflict? You guys, you take number four. You look at find number four in the text. And then we reread this section. Okay? So I'll reread. I'm going to start right here. Yeah. As, as I approach long rest, which is a terrible cemetery kind of name to begin with, I was sorry I hadn't avoided the trip. Then I felt guilty about it. I'm loaded with guilt complexes. So what's going on right now? Where is his trip to? Bill 
that he is filling housing filling. His internal conflict is, what's his internal conflict we identified? Doesn't want to go where? Right, so he didn't want to, he avoided the trip to visit his grandmother, rather, right? So his internal conflict is, Today's assignment is due today. Yeah, I'm going to extend it over today. We're going to get through half of it today, so we'll get through number eight today, and then I'll get time to finish tomorrow. Yes, Adam? Uh, yeah, can you wait till after? Yeah, I'll wait
I'm not allowed to say it. Sorry, I'm just stopping myself. <laughs> Look what she did 
issue number four. I don't know what I'm going to be on. Check this out. Not only really, I should finish one through eight already, but for number four, she gave a wonderful picture of a cute little dog right behind her answer. 